Money. This is their profession and their careers, and they help us bring food to the store. So Farmer Leslie, she runs the farmer's market, and this is the last stop where the food goes, friends. So they grow the food and they prepare it, they grow the vegetables and fruit, and then they prepare it, and they bring it into the market to sell it. So we're going to walk through and see everything that you would grow on the farm or make on the farm. And this is how they make their money with everything. So So friends, what are we seeing in here? What's in here in the freezer? Ham. So ham is something that we make here on the farm. So there's meat comes from a farmer. Okay. Now, I know you guys all came to the farm and you wanted to see baby sheep and baby goats. But on our far the farm also, we keep enough of these animals the insects and the bees, and they are honestly the most important worker on the farm. You know, the farm workers might do a lot of work, but it's these guys that we need to thank for everything that we eat. So we need to keep them healthy here on the farm, and so we keep beehives. Why do we think they are, I'm saying that they're the most important workers on the farm? Yes? visits a flower, 
will it turn into a fruit? No. Yes, so it, you can only get fruit if it's been visited by a pollinator. So if we didn't have bees, we wouldn't have fruits to eat. So they are super important. They do a big job on the farm by pollinating all the fruits to turn into, all the flowers to turn into fruits. Yes? That makes us some honey. What's this? Well, I'll explain it to you in a second. So yeah, we said the honey is very good. So the farmer, like thanks to his bees for working so hard and making the fruits, but also can sell his honey. And there's more that he can sell. What is this? Have you guys seen this? Here, pass it around. Take a look at it. Pass it to your friend. Take the and the bees make what we call honeycombs. And they fill each one of these little honeycombs up with honey to feed all the babies for the queen. Does anyone know what honey really is? I know. A, there's probably going to be two things that you guys remember today when I talk about poop and now what I talk about. <laughs> yeah. So honey is really bee spit. So the bees, because they, the, they collect the nectar and they have enzymes, fancy word for chemicals in their mouth, and they spit it into these and that makes the honey. It is safe to eat because lots of food and other stuff comes that way. And that's how they feed their queen and they keep all their babies laying eggs and stuff like that. So, my pal over here is super duper curious about it. slaughtering everywhere, it wants to go to the outside of the pot. So they use that type of science and mechanism to get the honey out of there. So, so we get honey from them, we get honeycomb. One more thing that was very, very important to humans. What's that? You know the bees make honey from the flower? Yes, the bees make honey from the flower, that's right. So we get wax. And wax is what they use for light and for warmth. So bees have been a very important part of humans, man's family's farming world for a very long time. All right? So that's why I wanted to make sure we stopped here to talk about how important these guys are. So we can't have food. Well, there's no fruits without bees. And wax is one of our first sources of light and heat for humans. Now we have light bulbs. Right? So we gotta thank the bees for all their hard work. Alright, any more bee questions? Uh, no. So, I have a question. So that would that be a beeswax? That's where it comes from, the word beeswax? Beeswax, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the beeswax that you can get in the honeycomb here. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I got three, everybody had a chance to look. Don't touch, Kailash. There's a lot of honey. Okay. 
they're called the roots. So where do the roots go? Around, right? So that's one job that they do. There's another big job. Who likes to build towers? Lego towers, lock towers. And the bottom of the tower is called the base. Now, do you make the do you make your tower bigger at the bottom? Yeah. Or small? Why? Yeah. It, well, yeah, why do we make the tower bigger at the bottom? Yeah. So it won't fall. So it won't fall. That's right. How tall the tree is is how wide the roots are. Okay. Approximately, not perfectly, but almost. Oh Look, when I fold it over, my roots are almost as long as my plant is tall. So if my plant gets taller, what's going to happen to my roots? Yep. They're going to grow bigger. That's right. So, yeah. so that's our job of our roots. The next part that comes out of the soil, which you can see here, is called the...
has a dirty cheek. <laughs> oh. Are you all tired and you're going to go to bed right away tonight? 